Palais, Palais, Palais by Sat. Look some good news. Hold on. Palais? Yes, that's right. Boy, Sat has something called. Hold on. Pale, pale, pale. Look, talk. Sat is having a special for this independent season, and you need to get connected to enjoy the benefits. It's called Pale, 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 Pale. Once you set up and connected with Sat, you can talk to your mother, grandmother, great grandmother, stepmother, stepbrother, stepsister, step the whole step. Pale is so sweet. With your connection to Sat Telecoms, and especially when you get your internet connection, no hidden fees, no hidden charges you get free sat to sat telephone connection you also get free installation and you get no charges on your talk time and you get your telephone for free so you have at home your tv sat tv you have your internet sat internet and now phone phone look at pale 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 all your talk is Wait. Hello, hello. Take advantage of one of Sat's five internet packages in our Pale Pale specials. You can get the Breezy, the Warm Up, the Maverick, the Jetstream, and the Warp Drive. Don't forget the Pale Pale. These packages starting at twenty-eight seventy-five. Pale Pale. Yeah, don't forget from Sat. This independent season, don't forget it's happening at Sat. Pale Pale. Festival, c'est magé, magé. Good boy, magé, magé. Mais Sat, c'est Pale Pale. Yep, Pale. But, yes. Please be advised that Court of Appeal Dominica sitting will commence from Monday the 12th of November to Friday the 16th of November 2012 from 9 a.m. at the House of Assembly Parliament Building on Victoria Street. <laughs> Good evening, I am Nisha Charles and I am Deslin Joseph and we are your presenters for today. Thank you for joining us for SAT TV News. Among the major developments, the Dominica State College and the DYBT launches Global Entrepreneurship Week. New government still not formed in Curaçao. Eurozone ministers to discuss new funds for Greece. And in sports, very close results from the Domino Forehand League. Details of these and other stories after the break. Thank you for staying with us. Now for the details of the news. Memorial Day, also known as Poppy Day, is a memorial day observed in the Commonwealth countries since the end of World War I to remember the members of the armed forces who have died in the line of duty. This day is also recognized as a special day for war remembrances in many non-Commonwealth countries. The Red Remembrance mm -hmm. Poppy has become a familiar emblem of Remembrance Day due to the poem in Flanders Fields. Bishop Gabriel Mauser was a master of the ceremony where many Dominicans turned up to pay their tribute. We ask that we may seek a holy and faithful life. And so we pray today, not only for the deceased, but also for ourselves, that we all, as we look forward to our destiny, it may be fruitful and happy. Amen. Amen. Together we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The police officers matched extremely well and gave their impression of being organized, engrossed, as well as sympathetic to the meaning behind the significant day. This event was held in front of People's Park where some tourists sat and observed our citizens paying their tribute.
Apart from the police force, ministers made themselves present to pay their respect. And in more news, celebrating 41 years of creative dance, the Waitakubuli Dance Theatre Company presented Dancing to the Rhythm of Life. The show was put on at the Ara Cause of Culture on Saturday, November 10th, with over 20 pieces being displayed. For 41 years, they have maintained their vision to promote and celebrate a dance identity, which is ours and of which we are proud. This year, the focus of the show was to pay tribute to Dominican legend Jeff Joe. The group did justice to the piece by Jeff Joseph and Gramax called Celebration. This was done by the senior dancers. The White Kubli dancers have always been fond of creation and nature and on Saturday night the senior dancers graced across the stage to the music Creation by Peter Tosh. The both pieces were choreographed by Raymond Lawrence. company has always had a focus on Creole dance and they have tried to maintain and build Dominica's identity. They feel strongly that Dominican people and our dance expression should be felt the cultural heritage of our people and our region. Artistic director of the group, Mr. Raymond Lawrence, hopes that the company will continue to grow and provide dance entertainment to Dominicans and visitors alike for years to come. <laughs> And in more local news, Mon Prosper resident as well as bus driver Mr. Albert Timothy says he is irritated and disgusted with the current state of the Mon Prosper bus stop. 
He says as a bus driver, it is having a negative impact on his business, clients and other bus drivers. Mr. Timothy added that many passengers complain every time they board this bus. However, they feel as if they aren't in any position to say anything. Well, this is our bus stop actually and we have a problem with the rubbish there and also when the tourists and the passengers, we, you know, it's, re it's, not, it's very untidy so we need to get it sorted out. How is it affecting you personally? It's affecting us because when the bus is parked and the people going in and out of the buses, they're walking right into the mess. So it's affecting us. The annoyed bus driver says this has been an issue for a while now and every week it is guaranteed that garbage is existent at this bus stop. I go to the city council so they can come and um, at least clean it out for us, clear it out. So, and, and you know, because you know, it's a healthy environment we need, we don't need it in that way because the tourists, everybody's passing there and it's, uh, it's, not, it's not proper. Well, it's been very messy, a lot of rain falling on there, and messy, and you know, it's smelling, but just because of the rain, the scent cooled down now, so that is why we have it a little easier now. But the flies and everything going into the buses, and everything is not appropriate. Mr. Timothy says this is affecting him, as well as other people's health, and he hopes to see a drastic change soon. He mentioned that he has contacted higher authorities, therefore there is not any reason why this issue should not be dealt with as soon as possible. The Dominica State College and the Dominica Youth Business Trust held a launching ceremony for the Global Entrepreneurship Week. Government NGOs and educational institutions are increasing their attention on the development of entrepreneurs by developing policies that facilitate and encourage entrepreneurship activity. DYBT Deputy Chair Ms. Karin Prevo says the interest in entrepreneurship is mainly due to the need that entrepreneurs have for the capacity to contribute to the increase in the rate of economic development. And um, entrepreneurship, we know, is a key factor in economic development for both developing and developed countries. Promotion of entrepreneurship is very significant to us in the Caribbean because it can be utilized as a tool for youth who are otherwise unemployed and there is great potential, as I said before, for economic development. At the end of 2011, global youth unemployment was at 12.6% and was projected to increase to 12.7% in 2012. In Latin America and the Caribbean, the youth unemployment rate is higher, standing at 14.3%. In the Caribbean, more than 25% of our unemployed are youth between the ages of 25 to 34. And it is said that graduates of secondary and tertiary institutions have been heavily affected by the economic crisis. The general problems of youth unemployment, poverty, and the resulting economic and social issues are of great concern to us. Global Entrepreneurship Week is the largest celebration of innovators and job creators that bring ideas to life. At the Dominica State College and the Dominica Youth Business Trust, they are focused on the promotion of youth entrepreneurship in Dominica. DYBT coordinator Ms. Cesarina Paul says the youth entrepreneurs will be provided with an avenue to discuss the benefits and challenges of youth entrepreneurship. You must understand that in a small economy like ours, operating a small, eco operating a small enterprise, and more so in these very tough economic times, that poses a tremendous challenge for young people and for young entrepreneurs. DYBT continues then to monitor the progress of our entrepreneurs and to observe how they handle the challenges which face them and the level of progress that they make. She hopes that out of forums like this, young entrepreneurs will have the courage to start their own businesses. Minister for Culture, Youth and Sports, Honorable Justina Charles, says the rate of the global youth unemployment has risen and this is cause for concern. In addition, to the 74.7 million unemployed youth around the world in 2011, a growing number of whom are in long-term unemployment, an estimated 6.4 million young people have given up hope of finding a job and have dropped out of the labor market altogether. A panel discussion was held afterwards with some mentors as part of the DYBT Mentors Program. Activities for the week include a cash flow one-on-one, -on -one, the Entrepreneur's Toolkit on November 13th, and an exhibition on the ground floor of the government headquarters on November 15th. And in more local news, the 2013 Elegant Plus Size contestants were presented before the public on Saturday, November 10th through the Miss Plus Size launch. This dynamic is doing it again with even a greater show this year, according to Miss Mary Raffo. 
We have with us six lovely, beautiful, full-figured women who are ready to put on a show that you won't forget. We are, I would like to take this opportunity to invite the public, the business places, the private sectors to come on board with this dynamic and support the show, if not the show, a contestant. Ms. Raffo says it takes a lot from these ladies with their sizes to build their confidence and come onto the stage. She also urges the public to support them. For the public to criticize us even more. And we're out there, we're telling you we're big, we're beautiful, we're bold, and we're about to show you that we're not just about outer appearance. There is more to us than what you see on the outside. So please, I am inviting you all to get on board with this dynamic and help make these ladies show a success. Here's a clip of Miss Raffo introducing the contestants. We have Miss Candel Hines. Miss Hannah O'Brien. Miss Kishma Joseph. Miss Beverly John. And Miss Ali Gist. Please put your hands together for them and they're beautiful. Mayor of Rosa, Mr. Cecil Joseph, commended all the supporters, including the media, and reminded the public that it is essential that the ladies... Come on, put your hands together for them. And all those persons who are here, one with the other, to ensure that the Miss Plus Size and Elegant Pageant be a success in 2013. First of all, let me just congratulate the organizers, D Dynamics Production. Why I'm saying so? In everything that we do, there is a start. And in everything that we do, there will become criticism as to how you should do it or how you should not do it. He told the ladies to consider what they are doing right now as history. He added that many years ago, national pageants such as Miss Dominica began the same way as this event. And I'm sure that when it started, there were high criticism from the public. And so sponsors did not come. And so, the people did not come. And so, things fell apart. But in the process, what we saw happening many years later, that you have seven beautiful ladies from various parts making what is called Miss Dominica. The mayor deems that this show will be a total success. This has been the local segment of the news. Coming up next, regional highlights. Yo, gang to the Zilla, you're watching Sat Telecom, people, them try, see you that, Rasta.